What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to customize the my account page that WooCommerce applies to our WordPress store or WordPress website, okay? And all for free. But before we can start, could you please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours who have no idea how much it helps us, okay? We bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, themes and everything you need in order to use internet on your favor and tools on your site's favor, okay? So after this made, let me explain a little bit more. When you install WooCommerce, normally is when you want to sell something, when you want to turn your website into an e-commerce. It comes with some default pages, normally the shop page, the my cart, the checkout and the my account. That is where the users log in to, to download if it's a downloaded product, to apply address, to see account details, payment methods, orders, details, okay? And of course log out. And this is a very common page all the WordPress websites has and it's really, really, really hard to customize. However, into this video, we're gonna learn some simple ways to customize this page. And let's get it started with the simplest one, okay? If you know this page, it's actually a real page. If you click into edit page at the top when you go, if you are logged in to your WordPress and go to the account page, you see this upper bar on your dash on your navigation on your web browser you can click into this edit page okay and you can apply extra elements to this page okay so i'm here into this page if you see this page in a different way for example like this no need to worry okay or if you only see the my account page okay let me show you Normally the the short code that appears on the page it's only this one right here, okay? The my account. However, of course, you can customize this page in the way that you want. For example, if you are using WP Bakery Page Builder, if you are using Elementor, or even if you are using the native WordPress Gutenberg Editor, okay? Let me load the WP Gutenberg Editor, okay? If you go right here, you can, for example, apply a new block and search for some extra WooCommerce element, for example, the recent orders. Let me go to all and let's reveal some elements of WooCommerce itself. Right here we have some WooCommerce elements. We have some products, newest products, this one is very good. So we can apply some of our latest products. Let me remove the amount of rows, just one is okay. And let me increase the amount of columns, four columns. Let me update the page. Remember, if you are using any other page builder, no need to worry, okay? Same elements gonna be present, even on WP Bakery, Elementor, Gutenberg, Classic Editor. So you can apply extra elements to your account page to start the customization. However, this may not be enough, I know, no need to worry, we can customize more about this page, okay? What else we can do? We can, for example, go, or go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and search for this plugin right here, customize my account for WooCommerce, click on install now. Click on activate. This is a free plugin, it's very good. There is a little number of plugins that allows us to customize the account page. This is almost the unique that works, okay? If you know another one, please let me know in the comments, okay? 
So as soon as you activate the plugin, you're gonna redirect you to the WordPress plugins list. Find the plugin, click on the settings, or click into this new button that gonna appears on your site. And right here, we're gonna be able to customize other parts of your account. For example, we can remove items for this account. For example, imagine that we would like to remove the option for logout. Click on it. Save change. No more logout option, okay? Simple, right? What else we can do? We can add a custom link. For example, home page. Home. And if I click on it, the full theme icon, let me apply a custom URL for this link. Open in a new tab if you want or not. We can apply a custom icon to the link in the case that you need. Let's pick an icon. For example, this is star icon, maybe. There's a lot of icons right here, so you can choose from. We can apply some CSS class. I think there's no need for it. Let me update and let's review the account, right? Our home link, it's now into the account, okay? It's really, really hard by coding to add a link to this account page. And now you can do simple, okay? In the case that you don't like, we can click into this trash icon. What else we can do? Let's check more options. Into this dashboard, what we can do? We can apply an icon, a different icon on the dashboard, maybe. Let's try to find out a house icon. It may combine better, okay? It would be good if the plugin has the option to search for icons. I'm sure I did so in house icon, but I'm not finding it now. No problem. Let's pick whatever. Just to test. Save chains. Seems like the icons isn't working. Let's review why later, maybe because of the library of Elementor icons, but we can review this later. Let's go to settings. What I can do right here? The full account tab, dashboard. We can change from vertical to vertical right. Let's try to let's save it. Very interesting. What else? Oh, we can show the profile image. It's really nice. Let's try to find out. Oh, that's great. Gorgeous. Let me go with back to left. And let's explore this front end option right here. It shows the account. Now let's review why does this account does not load the icons.
after the video I'm gonna explore why the icons are isn't showing maybe some bug I don't know why but what else we can do we can change the labels okay for example instead of dashboard right here we can type home for example instead of orders you can type purchases you can type anything you want instead of downloads you can type any other thing and into the addresses or into the download or into the order we can apply a custom content okay you can type anything you want right here or use the HTML codes or apply image okay and after existing content or before let me save change let's explore here's the content we can type anything we want okay simple and easy no need to code no need to, to write some changes simple and fast and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing wordpress teams in addition to our borderless WordPress plugin that you can install and use for free in order to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click on your WordPress. Okay? To install, all you have to do is go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search for our borderless WordPress plugin, click on install and activate it. Same thing for our Enzo WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team that you can download. It brings you templates, more pre-built websites that you can import for free with a single click, an advanced search filter, an advanced search engine optimization code, an advanced mobile friendly theme, and all for free. To install, all you have to do is go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for our Enzo WordPress team, click on install and activate it. You are good to go. Moreover, in the case that you are in need of a website or landing page or sales page up and running faster, please go to our WordPress, please go to visualmoto.com, okay? And on it, you can purchase the Visual Moto Pass that includes the Enzo and the Borderless Plugin Pro licenses, okay? So you can have more elements, more icons, more templates, more pre-built websites, amazing features, and count on our full support on your site building and themes and plugin usage, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!